Super Title Tempest. This is Luigi Rocks 2014. Back with more Sonic CD. Anyways, grab that little uh, bubble thingy. It's just like in the, just like in any other Sonic game. Sonic apparently can't breathe underwater, which is kind of ridiculous. But yeah, that's pretty much his thing. He just is not able to breathe underwater. That was actually pretty close. I almost got hit by that random thingy with the the rings. Actually, hold on. Actually, stand right here. And there you go. And then head into the past. I mean, that's one way you can travel into the past. There's another way to do it, too, but that's how I do it. Just because. <laughs> Alright, grab that. All those rings. And I almost got enough to make 50. Alright, there's a ring down there. Head under here. Now this song I'm definitely using for this video, the, the past theme of Tidal Tempest. This was like the one song I actually enjoyed hearing in this level was the past theme. I don't know, all the other themes, I just didn't really seem to like that much. I don't know. That's just me. So yeah. Alright, so heading to the future. What the heck happened to Sonic's face? That was kind of weird. Yeah, that weird animation on his face. I don't even know what the heck happened to his face right there. Like, that was pretty weird. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I've always noticed his face ends up changing whenever you travel into the present of this level. Or when you're traveling back into the present. I don't know why his face looks like that for some reason when that happens. Maybe a little too much time travel. I don't know. <laughs> I really just don't know, to be honest. Alright, so grab the future sign. Yeah, that's fine. I had a shield, so I'm, I'm good. And then... And then another change to his face. Now his face is looking all green. What the heck? What has Sega done to this hedgehog? What the heck? Oh, whatever. <laughs> okay. So then, yeah, I'm done with this level. Just for no reason, I decided to go into the future. I don't think I'm going to be able to do that in uh, Act 2, and that's only because in Act 2, I usually don't do too well at going into the future. I haven't figured out how you could go into the good future in Act 2 without, or with uh, collecting... The destroying that robot generator. I've never been able to figure that out because the robot generator apparently in what you'll see in Act 2 of a uh, Tidal Tempest is it apparently is in the freaking end of the level basically. Alright, nope. Nope. Alright, so that's two down. This special stage is like one of the more harder ones. The first four, I made it look easy, but this one might just end up getting more and more difficult. That's only because I haven't been able to beat this level without getting extra time. Yeah, and this one, if you actually... In most of the special stages, when you run out of time, there will be a special uh, UFO thingy that lets you get more time if you don't have enough time to beat this level. And it's usually about at 18 seconds that it happens. Right, that's two down. Or, yeah, one down, two more. One more now. Again, if I can... There we go. Oh yeah, and that UFO in the background is, is the one that you could collect if you needed more time, but I didn't really need it, so... Screw that. And with that... We now have five time stones. If you're actually playing this game on the Xbox 360 or PS3, there's a 
special uh, trophy or achievement that you get for um, like collecting all the time stones and stuff. Oh yeah, and then there's also this one other trophy where, uh, oh my goodness, this one trophy in this game I find really weird. Like, I don't even know why this is even a trophy slash achievement, but there's this one trophy slash achievement where that, that they call uh, just one hug is all you need. And what it is is that uh, it's, a, it's a trophy slash achievement where you have to have uh, Amy hug you and stuff, which... Like, really? Are you serious? Like, I'm sorry, but whoever came up with that trophy, I'm sorry. Like, you're either, like, a weirdo or a pervert for coming up with a trophy like that. Like, I don't know why. I just, I find that to be one of the weirdest trophies ever to collect in this game. Is the one called Just One Hug Is All You Need. Like, seriously? Or I think it was called Just One Hug Is Enough. I, I don't know. I forget the name of it. I could go to my trophies box right now and show you, but really, I don't feel like doing that, so screw that. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I really just don't feel like showing it. Anyways, into the past. Um, I don't know why, but this is only available when you're in the past, that uh, one up. But yeah. Yeah, I'll grab the future sign. I may not be able to go into the good future, but I'll at least be able to travel back into the present once I destroy the robot generator. Oh yeah, and over here is one of the metal sonic holograms, which actually, if you destroyed that along with all the robot generators in this game, you actually get a trophy or achievement or whatever for getting it. Um, since I'm playing this on the PS3, it would actually be called uh, trophies. If, if this was the Xbox 360, it would be the achievements, but I'm playing this on PS3, so yeah, that's pretty much how it is. As far as I know, uh, the 2011 version of Sonic CD is also available on the... Uh, later on, I don't know. I, have, I haven't been able to find all of them because it's just so difficult, so... Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Oh, you could just look it up on YouTube, can't you? Well, I could do that, but honestly, why should I? Why do I? Why should I look it up on YouTube? This game is so easy that I don't even. I really shouldn't even need YouTube to look up stuff, but I actually did for the what's it called? The robot generators. And okay, I apparently messed that up. Well, you could have went into the present, but I messed that up, so whatever. So with that, that's Tidal Tempest Act 2, and next we have the special stage. Which, um... Yeah, this is going to be the last special stage I'm going to be showing, and then after that I'm not going to be showing any more special stages until later on in the walkthrough, so... Yeah. That's pretty much how it's all going down for now. And I lost about 20 seconds at that part because I fell into the water too many times and... What the heck? Oh, I see. Really? Great, and I lost a lot of time there. You oh my gosh, game, are you serious? Alright. So I'm gonna have to grab some time. And they weren't even that difficult when I went through this in practice mode, when I was practicing through the game. Whatever. Just give me the damn time stone. Thank goodness that's the last special stage I have to go through, but... Sadly, I still have one more to go through, which again, I'm going to do that later in the game because if I get all the time stones now, I won't be able to show me destroying all the robot generators. So, yeah, the last time stone I'll get much later on in the walkthrough, so be sure to stick around for that when that happens. Alright, now for uh, Act 3, the boss level. Yeah, Act 3 is always the act where you go into the, um, future. Yes, definitely need rings. Rings are definitely helpful, and that's not where I wanted to go. That I do want, the shield. 
That's one thing that's very important to get is the shield. Because that's basically extra protection to prevent Sonic from losing rings for at least one hit. Alright, so with the uh, Eggman or Robotnik or whatever you want to call him, um, basically just have to hit him a couple times to where he spins out of gets out of control. What's down here? I don't think there's really... Well, there's a couple of rings up there, but I have no idea how to get those. Alright, but over here... Yeah, he's gonna shield himself with these bubbles, which you have to collect in order to hit him. With also, without getting hit by those low... I don't know what those are. Bullets, maybe? Missiles? I don't even know. Just avoid not getting hit by them. And I always get hit by the wrong one. It's always the wrong side that I'm on. I don't know why he always chooses the right. It's so stupid. Yep, I was trying to... I could have grabbed the bubble while he was shooting those out. Gosh, get the ring, Sonic. Yeah, okay. There we go. Yep, only three bubbles left, and I didn't really have to collect all three of them to hit them, surprisingly. And with that, we're done with Tidal Tempest, and my camera batteries are running low. Great. But anyways, with that, thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys in um part... Four, I think it is. Yeah, part four. Anyways, um, peace out, guys, and I'll see you all next time.